Yeah. So yeah. anyway, there are so many crises that is happening right now in the world. One crisis that needs to be spotlight is some plastic pollution. Now it's currently being discussed at the UN Environmental Assembly meeting in Nairobi, Kenya this week. During the event, Rwanda and Peru submit a proposal designed to make manufacturers responsible for the life cycle of products contained, containing plastic. Waterways around the world are currently polluted by plastic waste, which often ends in the oceans. As such, the issue of plastic waste is being discussed at the UN Environmental Assembly meeting in Nairobi, Kenya. So far, delegates from member states have suggested several proposals for a binding global treaty designed to curb plastic pollution. Peru and Rwanda have come up with a proposal that aims for a full-spectrum approach against plastic pollution. It calls for the creation of an international and legally binding agreement that covers all stages of plastic life cycle. The two countries also suggested the adoption of circular economy for plastic. The proposal covers plastic use and disposal, extraction of raw materials and plastic production. It is now co-sponsored by 13 countries including the European Union. Well, we must celebrate what Rwanda is trying to do because we know that on the continent, Rwanda continues to lead with respect. They were the first, I think, country to ban uh, single-use plastics and keep uh, most of us followed later keeping our environment clean it is a country that is got credibility with respect to this agenda I really hope they get the support that's needed with the information we have today with what we know today about the impacts of plastics on our oceans on our environment we cannot be those people right we've got to find alternatives so I hope they get the support they need Meanwhile, the manager of the Rwanda Ego Plastic Factory stated that the public needs to play their part and not dispose garbage carelessly. He also expressed his hope that the proposal can make a positive change if it's adopted by the United Nations Environmental Program. <laughs> According to a WWF report published in early February, 88% of marine wildlife species have been negatively affected by plastic waste. Furthermore, researchers estimate that up to 90% of all seabirds and 52% of all sea turtles have ingested plastic. <laughs> 